Uh, I started uh, running uh, when I was a young girl, uh, 12 years old, but uh, not to be an athlete. It was just a lot of fun and I took part in all kinds of uh, uh, events, uh, cross country, running track and uh, then as I got uh, older uh, I started to run uh, middle distance on the track and uh, in 1978 um, I was talked into by my husband to run the marathon in New York for the first time and uh, at the time I didn't expect anything I did it just because I'd never been in New York before and uh, the reason I came was that uh, uh, no, not to win the race, uh, but just to see New York and enjoy that. So when I won the race and set the world record in 1978, uh, the first time I ran, that opened a new door for me in running that I didn't know existed. In, I live in Oslo okay. and uh, we are blessed with uh, lots of trails uh, very close to Oslo and so I did uh, most of my running on dirt roads and trails uh, and in the winter uh, I did a lot of cross-country skiing to, um, to stay in shape and uh, we didn't have that many indoor facilities or treadmills at that time so I had to do all my running outdoors. Oh my, my it, it was uh, fantastic I'd never experienced anything like it uh, just coming out to the starting area to see thousands and thousands of people, all shapes and sizes. They should all run the 26 mile race and uh, it was something that I never ever seen before. But I liked it and I also enjoyed very much the support uh, you got from the crowd and uh, uh, it is, uh, you know, something that you really um, hits you, you know, um, especially the support from the people here and they make you feel like uh, you know, the top of the world. And I think that's why so many people want to come and run New York because of the atmosphere and uh, they treat everybody like a winner. I, um, I actually uh, created um, a fragrance basically um, inspired from the Norwegian mountains, the natures, and the little thing we're great to talk about in the outside. I was always outside because I came from a home, a very small home. So I need to be outside a lot. So I wanted to create something that reminds me about my childhood, about my mom when she took me to the mountains. And I want to wrap all those elements into this bottle of fragrance. So I, you basically will have the fragrance, like Norway, in a little bottle of perfumes. And, and I, what I did, I copied my mom's signature without her knowing it. And I still screened her name on the bottle. And I gave it to her for Mother's Day as a surprise. And um, so after doing that, I've been worked with women all over the world. And um, for the past several years, you know, I've been more involved in um, cancer organizations. And that's how last Christmas I had lunch with Greta in Oslo. And I jokingly said, what can I do, you know, to, to do something for cancer? And Greta says something you know, about the New York Marathon. And I jokingly said, oh, yeah, sure, no problem. And now I'm sitting here with the master of all masters. You know, and like, I'm a little nervous about tomorrow. I've been practicing, but, you know, seeing what she had done um, for the sports and how she had inspired, you know, thousands of thousands of people are, I'm so inspired myself just to be here in part of her organization and, um, you know, active against cancer, which she started, and she can probably tell you more about that than me, but I'm very, very thrilled to be here and uh, be able, hopefully tomorrow, to complete the marathon. I don't know what's going to be <laughs> two and a half hours, it's probably going to be five or six, but you know what, the most important thing is to complete it, to be able to do it and show other people that you can do it. We have a big group of people coming from Norway, uh, running on our team, Team Active. And uh, the foundation uh, is called, uh, as Guy said, uh, Active Against Cancer because we want healthy people to be active and then contribute to make um, a better life for people with cancer. You can, call, you can call it, you know, a race for the care because these people are running tomorrow uh, to give patient cancer, can, patient, cancer patients a better care and uh, the money goes to uh, low activity training center uh, because uh, research uh, show that uh, activity improves uh, the quality of life for people undergoing treatment uh, 
and also after surgery. So that is what we want to, to offer uh, cancer, people with cancer. I have a website under lila.com, L-A-I-L-A.com, and I have a link to her organization and everything there, and we're going to update that now the next few weeks. So anything she wanted to read about Greta and her organization, they can just click on my website here in the States and then go right into her website. We're getting all that stuff together now in the next few weeks. At the moment, uh, we are just um, doing this in Norway, but we want to expand to, to the rest of the world because it is a really good concept. Uh, very few cancer centers has uh, physical activity at that level for, for the patients available. And uh, so uh, it has been a great success uh, in Norway. We are, are now having uh, these uh, centers at five of the cancer hospitals in Norway. I think I have to go to the men's side. Uh, my favorite is Haile Gebrselasse. Uh, I think he's a great uh, athlete, a great person, and uh, he has run uh, two or three for the marathon, which is extremely fast. And uh, I think uh, and I hope that uh, he will win the race. I think that proves what he did how much running uh, can do for people, not only physically, but also mentally. Uh, I think he started running down in the mines to keep his sanity and uh, to show that, you know, he was still alive and he, he wanted to get out of there. And I, I'm convinced that that made him very strong mentally, all the hard training that he did down there in the mines. And it is great to see him here in New York. Uh, he has never been on an airplane before and uh, so, Coming out of the airplane and meeting all the press people, he was like speechless. <laughs> and, uh, so he's a really nice guy. I think uh, most people can complete a marathon. And uh, you don't have to be uh, a great athlete uh, to complete a race of 26 miles. You just have to put in more activity in your daily life, which is good for yourself. And if you, in addition, can do something good for other people with your training and running, that's a bonus. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.